welcome to this week's Smilecast. Thinking about what we should talk about today, I thought, let's talk about dentures. You don't find people talking about dentures very often. And uh, as many of you know, uh, my father was a dentist. Uh, he graduated from dental school in 1944. And he, he and I would often talk about how they made dentures way back then. And I got a, I have a picture of, of my, my father and my son, actually. Uh, I love the sweatshirt my, my father is wearing um, because he always teased that he was the real Dr. Fernandi. And um, back then, they used to make dentures. A, a denture impression was actually plaster of Paris. Can you imagine sticking a bunch of plaster in your mouth, waiting for it to set? and then breaking it in half, hopefully only in half, not in five or six different pieces, hopefully just in two, and then from there, put them back together and start to fabricate a denture. A lot of times people look and say, well, what does a denture look like? And actually, this is an upper denture with the teeth, and this would be the tissue-bearing side of the denture, um, which, uh, people would, would wear in their mouth. Now, people often, there's many people that still wear dentures. And sometimes these denture wearers have worn them for many, many years. And oftentimes the teeth get worn. And as the teeth wear, the bone loss occurs. And all of a sudden, over a period of years, your bite changes where now your chin is closer to your nose. And you're very collapsed and then you start to develop joint problems and things. And sometimes a new set of dentures will open up your bite and restore that. The other thing that I often see is sometimes we've actually worn holes right through the denture. And oftentimes that becomes a problem in and of itself. The dentures start to get weaker and they break and sometimes you hold them up to the light and you can look through them and you can actually almost read a newspaper through them. It's time for a new denture. So if that's you, keep that in mind. Know that the materials have changed and improved. The aesthetics of them can be very, very satisfying, which should make you smile. And at the John Fernetti Dental Center, smiles are what it's all about.